Hi, my name is Jorge. I'll be doing a series of tutorials on how to use the GRAS GIS open source software. GRAS stands for Graphical Resources Analysis Support System. And it's a GIS uh, software project from the Open Source Geospatial Foundation. You can find more information about the foundation and the software at their official site at GRASS, G -R -A -S -S, dot O S G E O dot org, and you can find more stuff, more information about the software and the foundation there. Also, I'll be using the book Open Source GIS, a Grass GIS approach, third edition, and I'll be posting links and other notes uh, about the book also at the end of the video and on the show notes. Um, the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is how to install the uh, grass uh, software and for that I'll be leaving links as well as other notes at the end of the video again and the, the show notes so how about if we start okay so here we go okay first thing we're gonna do we are going to go to the official site of grass which is grass dot o s g e o dot o r g and this is the home page we're going to be getting to um, you're going to go either go directly to the windows uh, icon or you can go to download and just review what they have but for this tutorial we're going to go to the windows icon in the center of the screen and we're going to scroll uh, just to make sure there are no new notes or notices that might affect our installation so there are a few requirements um, you can read all about it and for this exercise we're just gonna go to the first link here uh, we want to stand alone install our package we want to use a Windows package so we're gonna go download the latest one and today the latest package is 6.42 and then uh, there's a new one dash 2 and we can go ahead and just download that and make sure when you download it you download it to a place where you're gonna remember you'll be amazed how many people forget what they download stuff and they end up downloading it again so we're gonna wait for it to download and then we'll continue to the next step so as you can see here, it keeps uh, extracting all the installation files that we will need. We will keep going, and in a few minutes, it will prompt us to do something else. So just hang on in there. Uh, we'll keep going. Okay, now that we're done with that part of the uh, install, you can see here it's asking us to do um, following uh, one of the uh, data sets. It's going to ask us to download it. So click go ahead and it depends on your internet connection it will uh, take either a minute a couple of minutes and if you have a somewhat slow connection it will take about an hour so with an average you should be looking at about 20 15 to 20 minutes and once it's done um, I'll come back and we'll continue we'll continue with the um, installation process Like here on my system, you can see it's about eight minutes left of downloading the first data set. And after this, we'll be asking us, it will be asking us to download the second set, which should take, it's a little bit smaller, so it should take less than that. So we're looking on my system about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes downloading process from start to finish for installation. And once this part is done, I'll come back and we'll go, we'll, we'll go ahead with the next part. And uh, now here we're uh, prompted to do the second set. This one's a smaller set, only 20, meg 20 megabytes. So you can go ahead and click that. It should take less than a minute or two minutes, depending on your computer again. So we'll come back to it once it's done. So finally that it's done downloading and installing, we get to the... Uh, successful window here uh, installation is complete setup was su completed successfully and you can go through it see if there are any errors if there were any if not then you should have that window 
prompting you to select next. So once we do that, we click finish. But before that, you might want to review the reference manual. So go ahead and check that, but I won't do it on this time so we can continue with a clean uh, tutorial. And we are going to select launch the Grass GIS. And there's one more step we'll need to do once we get there. So we'll click, we'll go ahead and click finish. And it will open the software and with one question, with one problem, no problem, but it will ask you for a little bit of information. And that is grad, grass needs a directory in which to store its data. Create one now if you have not already done so. A popular choice is grass data. So we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and do that. We're gonna go, in my case, I wanna work off the C drive. So I'm gonna click the C drive and you're gonna create a folder called grass GIS data. So in this case, I already have it made. So it's right there on my C drive, off of the C, right on the root drive, grass data. So now, now that we have that, we can go ahead and you know click OK, which will bring us to the Windows Explorer window, and it wants us to find that folder. So we're going to go ahead and find that folder, grass data. And now that will bring us this window, which is the actual grass, the welcome screen for grass. Okay, so it finished copying the um, files that we need. And now we just need to refresh the screen. Okay. So now that we are here, there's just one more thing we need to do. And we'll be, well, actually, we don't need to do anything. We are done with installation. You should see four project location folders on your left hand side window and one uh, selection on your map assets, which is the right window. And we're done. We can start running grass. And before that, we need to do a few things, a couple of things once we get there. And that will be on tutorial number two, how to set up our project location and our map asset to start working with the data set that we downloaded earlier. So that's it for now. And if you have any questions or if there are any problems with this tutorial, let me know my contact information, as well as links to the website to download the software and to the book that we'll be using on this tutorial will be posted at the end of this video and on the show notes. And let me know how this goes for you and hope you can come back for tutorial number two.